Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios artwork for today. Those are flamingos. I love flamingos because um, they their lines are so nice. Like it's so um, it's so graceful. Their necks, their height, their legs. So I drew this from a photograph I took at the zoo. Check my website for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share with you my poem devotional which is extracted from 1 John, I'm sorry, John 14 verse 7. It says, if you had really known me, you would know who my father is. Here's my poem. If you really know me. If you really know me, you would follow. If you love, if you seek me, you would have tomorrow. If you love me, you will obey my Father. If you want me, you will care for others. Those who hunger and want a relationship with me, they will get healed from their brokenness and be free. Once you know who I am, you'd know my Father. You are my disciple if you care for your sisters and brothers. Here's the essay. Have you ever desired to know someone deeply? The word love has been misused and abused that many people hardly know what it really means. To love someone is to know him or her so intimately. How can people claim that they love somebody when they hardly know anything about that person? It is a shame to say you love someone and yet not have the desire to want to know him or her deeply. The Bible claims in John 14, 7, that if we know Jesus, then we know who the Heavenly Father is as well. This verse tells us that the Son and the Father are one. Jesus represented God. He made Him amongst us so we can know Him. Prayer. Lord, give me a hunger to know You. Reflection. Why is it important to seek to follow and know Jesus? And um, just uh, an insight as to that uh, verse. There, um, sadly, there are so many Christians who do not really know Jesus. And how can they know Jesus if they don't even open the Bible and find out um, what he is like? So I invite you to... Um, have a relationship with the Lord and try to find out what He wants for your life and what He has made you to be. He wants you to become like Him in His own image. Let His image shine in your life. And that's, uh, that's it for the day and I hope you have a blessed day. God bless.